Wake up! Wake up! Hey, wake up! Wake up! Wake up. <laughs> He's doing it again. You bet we're doing it again with the best price of the year on a video recorder. Only $398. As advertised on the back page of TV Click this week, you save $101 plus free membership and Tom. It's Benny Hill. Weeknights at 11 on KPTV 12, Portland. Frank Sanetti Jr., in my mind, the best contract painter in all of Oregon, brings you what's happening at Rose City Speedway tomorrow, and it's something kind of different. Besides the regular stock car races that you see on Sunday afternoon, the amateurs, those cruisers out at 82nd Street, they're going to be time trials for the amateur racers, then they'll go against each other one-on-one, -on -one, and eventual winner will get $500. So it's super excitement with the regular stock car races, the amateurs, those dragsters, Tomorrow at Rose City Speedway. Tomorrow afternoon, gates open at noon. Steve Party winning the first fall. Over Rip Oliver. Oliver claiming that his trunks were tugged. Coming up, Dr. D, Buddy Rose. And I'm just not sorry that I'll be on vacation because I've been looking forward to vacation for a year. I'm sorry that this particular match comes up while I'm gone. Tuesday night tickets available 289-4222 is the number to call. And that is Sunday or Tuesday. Don't call the number Monday. Well, you can call it if you want to waste your time, but nobody's going to be answering. Sunday and Tuesday, 289-4222, the number to call. Or, of course, the way I suggest, come out to the flea market tomorrow. Right here at the sports arena. You go to the concession stand, and you can buy tickets. It's about the biggest regular flea market, I think, in the Northwest, too, if you're interested in that. About 300 garage sales under one roof. Steve Party against Rip Oliver. Body lock, probably better known as the bear hug. Applied by Rip Oliver. Oh, taking Pardee hard into the turnbuckles. He's got the hold again. And hard into the turnbuckles once more. Hard A got an inside cradle small package, making the move off the ropes. Difficult move to get the first fall. Sandy Bar, the referee, looking on. Party finds a way out of the hold, at least for the moment. Whoa, through the ropes. Coming off the edge of the apron. Once again, we'll remind you that it's angle iron that forms the edge. It's a ledge, so it makes a ledge where uh, they believe they're two by tens that make up the floor of the ring. So when you hit the edge of that apron, what you're hitting is metal. Uh-oh, Oliver. Threatening to throw one at the referee. 
This match would be over in a hurry because I know he'd DQ him and it wouldn't make any difference if it was match or fall DQ. Because Oliver's down one fall already. He's around outside the ring. Slamming far deep. And again, it's metal angle iron making uh, the edge of the apron. in the midsection. Once again, the bear hug. Oliver on Pardee. Steve Pardee returning to the Northwest. Late summer, early fall. Oh, I tell you, there are some things in the works. Among them, one we've been talking about, and that is the possibility in the very near future of Hulk Hogan. Coming to the Northwest, 6'7", 325 pounds. Did very well in an appearance in the Johnny Carson show, and he has, of course, become more well-known than he ever was as a result of his appearance playing a pro wrestler, of all things, in Rocky Three. Hardy again the small package. We may have two straight. I is able to kick out of it this time. Back to the bear hug. Rip Oliver, a veteran of pro wrestling. You will see him make very few mistakes. And you'll see him wrestle smart, which he's doing right now. He's got the man hurt with the bear hug to the small of the back, and that's what he's going to work on. Slam one. Nope, that's all. Oh, knee to the base of the neck. into the turnbuckle thought it was going to bring a turnbuckle loose but it didn't <laughs> Billy Goat butt to the midsection puts Oliver down we're in second fall action the first fall one by Pardee To the midsection, unloads with the right hand, and again, Hardy working on Oliver on the ropes. The referee, Sandy Barr, is going to have to DQ him here pretty soon. Keeps ignoring. Whoa! Flying elbow smash to the point of the chin. The whip, and. Shoulder throw backdrop on Oliver. Party covering him, but not very well. You're not going to pin Oliver by putting your hands on his shoulders. Oliver getting out of the way. Party drops, misses the drop kick. His back's already hurting. Oliver, backbreaker. I would say this one's all even at a fall apiece. 
The backbreaker, his partner Buddy Rose's favorite move, instead of the shoulder breaker, which he usually uses. The backbreaker loosens up Hardy enough for the pin, and this one is all even at a fall apiece. Well, once again, the fellow who helps pay our bills and makes it possible to bring you wrestling for 15 years out here with us tonight. So let's hear about another great buy from Tom Peterson right here from the sports arena. Tom, take it away. Here's a great wrestling special right here. 12-inch colored television.